Hello everybody and welcome back. Today's video we're going to do something a little different. We're getting Mac OSS Unlocker on our VMware Workstation 16. Okay, so what this is actually going to do is it's going to allow you to install a Mac OS operating system on your Windows or Linux, you know, virtual box or virtual machine. Sorry, I keep forgetting which one I'm in. So pretty much here, it works on Workstation 11, 12, 14, 15 on Windows and Linux and Workstation Player 12, 14, 15, and 16. I don't know why 7's in there, but it might work on 7. I don't know. I've never used 7 in a long time. So what this does is it just pretty much just changes out the VMware.VMX EXE and the VMware Base.DLL and .SO to match for Mac. And pretty much where they get that from is they actually get it from uh, VMware Fusion, which is the window, uh, the Mac version of VMware Workstation. Okay, now to give you a little information here, there is some things we'll have to do down here in case you're getting problems. And shout out to the guys, Zenith432 and MSOK for pretty much keeping this going all these years. I've been using this I can't even remember how long now. It's got to be at least five or six years now they've been doing this. Okay, just to let you know, everything we do in the file here will be down below in the description. So the VMware um, OSX image that, we're, that I downloaded will be down, the description down below will be there. The unlocker tool we're using here is going to be down below in the description. So everything we can get is all down there. Um, if you have a DMG file, all you need to download is Power ISO. Um, again, I'll link that down below too on how to convert a DMG to a ISO. Because um, even afterwards, when you when you actually get um, Mac OS S installed on your VMware workstation, it still doesn't read DMG files. Um, so this pretty much helps you just you know jump between the two. Okay, so first things first, you've got to go ahead and download everything. So if you haven't downloaded the image yet, I, you know, the DMG files or however you want to do this, stop the video now, go ahead and get them downloaded. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go ahead and jump over here to my shared folder. And the first file will be called the unlocker.master, as you can see here. And then we're going to go ahead and open that up and we're going to be greeted with a bunch of different files here. Um, please note, close out of your VMware workstation, your player, your ESXi, whatever you're doing in this. Um, you don't want to cause any kind of corruption with and have to reinstall everything from scratch just to do this. All right, so for Windows users, it's very easy. We go Windows install CMD, right click and run as administrator. And you'd be greeted with this window here. And what it's doing here is just patching all the files here, the registry, changing out the DLL, the SO files and an EXE file. And now it's downloading the um, Darwin tools, which is VMware tools from Fusion. So we're able to get the Darwin tools there. So we're able to actually get our Mac up and running 100%. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to pause the video and skip just a little bit ahead. Okay, so we have a few more seconds left here. And then what's going to end up happening as long as everything's downloaded and done, this window will close. And... Well, it's that, well, it finishes up the installation, then it'll go ahead and close itself out once it starts the services. Okay, so it created two files in here, a backup file, and then as you can see here, here are the files that it had to back up and replace. And then here are the Darwin tools, which are your VMware tools. So these are gonna be very important when we actually install Mac. So I'm believing that everybody went ahead and did what they said they're going to do before and they downloaded Mac. Now, as you can see here, I have two images. I have my Mac OS X 10 because um, every version of Mac that came out, I used to end up making a, an image of it and just throwing it on my server. But we're going to do this straight from scratch. So you can see here, I downloaded the VMware version of it. Now, the link down below will do a VMware version, a Oracle version if you want, um, which is VirtualBox. It will also let you download a DMG file and then you'll just go ahead and, you know, convert DMG to ISO and follow us from here. Now in the readme text, okay, that you get from here, you actually get it from geek.raw.com. This is where these are the people who actually went ahead and made this. They have their little tutorials too, if you want to watch them. Um, or I think read them. I actually have never gone to these sites to take a look at. But when you do download it, it's going to ask you for a password and it is geekroar.com, capital G. You have to type in this exactly the way you see it. Otherwise, you're going to get errors and it's never going to work. 
I don't know why companies still do this to this day, but it is what it is. So we're gonna get that out of the way here. Okay, so now let's go ahead and open up our VMware workstation. And we'll close out of that. We're gonna to go to File, New Virtual Machine. I am on 16, that's wonderful. I will install the operating system layer because we don't have an ISO and we're not gonna install via ISO. And now you can see here, once it's installed, you now have Apple Mac OS X. Now I'm gonna let you know, if you do not have this, all right, that means that the installer didn't work. So what I recommend doing is rebooting your computer, okay? Uninstalling, so run the uninstaller, as I'll go back here. Let me go back to shared here. All right, so from here, I would go and just right click, win uninstall, and then just run that. And it'll go ahead and uninstall it as well, and then just go ahead and run the installer one more time. All right, I've done this probably about four or five times already. I've never had an issue with it at all on 15 or 16. I've also done this on Linux too. So I don't believe anybody's gonna have an issue. All right, so from here, we're gonna go ahead and click 1015 because that's where we're gonna install. All right, I'm just gonna leave it like that. I don't really care. Um, you can go ahead and leave this because we're actually gonna link another, uh, another disk to it. So I'll just go ahead and I'm just gonna do a store as a single disk here because it doesn't matter. Okay, and I'm gonna click finish. Go to edit virtual machine here. Now inside here, we're gonna to have to change a few things. One, I'm gonna change this to bridge just so I can get internet connection right away. You can go ahead and auto detect the CD. We're gonna go add, hard disk, next, next, use an existing one, next. And then from here, we're gonna go ahead and browse right to our virtual machine here. There it is. Okay, now from here, it's asking if you wanna keep it. For my case being, I'm gonna go ahead and keep existing format. We can go ahead and remove the old one. Okay, so current size is 76. There we go, max size 100. Processor, memory, you can put it however you want. I do believe it should boot for me on these, but we're gonna find out. So we're gonna go ahead and go power on this virtual machine and we're gonna cross our fingers. Yeah, that's fine with me. Go ahead and maximize this and let's hopefully we don't get no dump errors. Okay, so as long as you get to this screen here, as you can see, we're now installing Mac OS X Catalina, which is very perfect for us. And as you can see here, it's gonna take about 11 minutes. So what I'm gonna do again is jump a little further ahead in the video here because nobody wants to stare at the screen for 11 minutes. Okay, so upon reboot, we'll be greeted with our setting up of our Mac. Go ahead and pick your country. And you know, as much as I hate saying this stuff, because I mean, there are other countries out in the world, the United States should literally be the, on top. Okay, and hate me for saying it, I don't care. Preferred languages, English, that sounds good enough. Input sources, the US, sounds good enough. And dictation, good enough, continue. Data and privacy, you don't have any. Transfer information to this Mac, I don't have anything to transfer. Set up later for my Apple ID. I'm a little slow at this, I haven't actually set up a Mac in a few years. So we're just gonna let me just go ahead and just type in okay and then we're just going to wait a minute but as you can see here I have a working Mac OS 15 or whatever this is on Windows Go ahead and hit continue, continue. Cause now we gotta get to Darwin tools once it gets all this. Yeah, I'm sure I'll enable Siri. No, nope, but I don't care. Man, this is what it's like. 
Now, I have not installed this, obviously. So I'm doing this just like anybody else would be doing. First time doing it. I don't think I actually have this yet. Ooh. Well, I guess I didn't have to worry about choosing. It just picked for me. Okay. We're good. You know, and then look at this. So I'm going to close out of that. Ooh, what do we got here to install? What you, you know, what you talking about? Some software. Oh, look at that. We got the Big Sur, which we'll save for another video. Okay, so we got to install VMware tools. So we're going to go to VM. Now, normally yours would say install VMware tools, but mine is reinstall. Why? Because I do this many times. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and click install, continue installation, type in my super duper secure password, and click install. Now we're just going to go ahead and sit back and wait for everything here to go ahead and do this. Oh, so if you are greeted with this, can I go ahead and hit, hit allow because you'll get a prop, prompt to install VMware and it will have to allow everything from that. Okay, and then from there, we should be good to go after this. Okay, then when you get installation was successful, click the restart button, and then we're going to go ahead and get right back into this on the reboot. And as you can see upon reboot, we have full screen now, which is what we all want. Or most of us, I don't know if everybody does. Man, it looks so cool. Honestly, I really think, I do like this. I really think it's very unfair that Mac will be able to, if you had a, a Mac, you'll have Fusion, and Fusion lets you install Windows, Linux, and Mac on there. But we don't get that with Windows. And I feel like it's very unfair. So I do think this is a very great tool to have. And now if you're the type of person that, you know, works with Mac and Windows, like I predominantly work with Windows, but every so often they throw a Mac in there for me and they, you know, Linux and that. And it's nice having these virtual tools, you know, having this virtual OS because if someone calls me up and says, hey, Anthony, I'm having a problem. My, you know, OS X Catalina with software not working or this, I can just boot this up and test everything out now here and see how it works. You know, for the most part, there are a few things that obviously that won't may not work. Um, I have been told that like FaceTime on here doesn't work. Messages doesn't work. Um, but I never actually use any of this stuff. I kind of just use the test out software programs. And I also use this to make newer copies. So for example here, when I click this and we'll go into upgrades here, you have the OS X Big Sur. Um, what I would do here is I would just actually download this right to here and I'd create my little USB installer and then I have a new installer for Mac. Or in this case here, I have, you know, Catalina. I'll make sure I have a Catalina installer and put down a thumb drive or whatever it be. So if I ever run into a Mac after install, I have this. So, but that's it. That's all you need to do to be able to get Mac OS X running on your Windows computer here. So as you can see, if I just get rid of that. This is a fully fledged Mac, you know, OS X 1015 Catalina running on VMware Workstation 16. Yeah, 16 on, you know, on your Windows and or Linux if you're, you know, want to go the Linux path. So I hope this helped out a lot of people. I hope this is a very interesting video. And I do hope a lot of people actually take use of this. So if you are using VMware Workstation and you want to use a Mac or you don't even, or you want to really get into it and see how you know, you can do different things in Mac or get used to a Mac OS or family members or whatever it may be, you can. And the case being here, I can run this alongside of my Windows computer and I can use both back and forth. Um, I can also get onto the internet with it and everything. So it's a fully functioning, working, you know, Mac. So again, I do hope this has helped somebody out. Um, check out the link down below or all the links down below for everything here. So if you want to, you know, get the unlocker, you want to be able to get the VMware workstation I have in here, you want to be able to, you know, get this image installer down here, or if you want to just do a DMG to ISO, um, everything's going to be down in the description below. So have a blast, people, and I'll see you on the next video.